Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Muhammad Rafi and you are watching Ray Tech Studio. We are really excited to announce our first ever collaboration with the Thermal Tech guys and we are really thankful to them for supporting us into this project guys. Well, this is a really big milestone achieved for us. Well, Thermal Tech has already launched its tough liquid ultra AIU series into the market and we got a chance to review one of them guys. So today we are going to talk about the premium tough liquid ultra 240 which is a all in one liquid cooler guys. So without wasting any of the time now, let's start the show. Before moving further guys, quickly go down and press the bell icon and the subscribe button guys so you can receive the notifications of our upcoming videos of the future guys. Now first of all, let's do the unboxing of the Thermaltake Tough Liquid Ultra AIO guys and see what the components they have provided you into the box. Now starting from the design language of this AIO cooler guys, the design language is quite minimal. The first thing that you will be noticing into this AIO cooler is the display guys. Yes, Thermaltake has provided you a display of 2.1 inches into this AIO which have resolution of 480 into 480 pixels guys. And yes guys, you can customize it your way if you want to add any animations or GIF, you can easily add them into by using the Thermaltake RGB plus software which you can download from the Thermaltake site. Uh, we will guide you how to do that uh, into this video as well. Moreover guys, this display is rotatable into any direction. You can change the orientation according to your choice even after fixing the pump into the changes guys. Uh, well, this is a really small detail but uh, it's really helpful for the users guys. As you know that after fixing the AIU into the changes, uh, we always face uh, issue of the orientation but Thermaltake has solved this issue for you. You can rotate the display into any direction according to your choice and it will be good to go. Now talking about the base plate of the pump guys, the base plate is made up of uh, copper guys and it's backed up by a 3200 rpm pump. Basically it is a pump and a block assembly like other standard AIOs which is attached to a radiator which is pre-filled. The copper plate is wide enough to cover all of the supported heat spreaders entirely guys which is really important for the thermal performance of the AIO guys. Moreover guys Thermaltake has provided you the low evaporation tubes into this IO which effectively decreases the loss of coolant with the passage of time which means guys no need to refill. Now talking about the connecting pipes, the connecting pipes are 400 mm long which connects the radiator with the pump guys uh, through fittings and you can also adjust the pipes through these fittings easily. Now talking about the radiator, the radiator is made up of aluminum with standard fin density and also have uh, enough surface area for the heat dissipation. Well this product is a bit off for a RGB lovers because, because straight out of box you will see no RGB fans, just simple minimal tough fan 120 millimeter guys uh, we they have provided you two fans into the box and uh, talking about the look and the design of the fans is really great uh, these are of like grayish type of a color and gives a really metallic type of a look and also into the uh, chassis you can see it looks really perfect Moreover, Thermaltake has provided you anti-vibration pads on the all four corners and the both side of the fan it means guys no vibration or rattling sounds well guys, these fans have the max airflow of 72.69 CMF and a maximum speed of 2500 RPMs. Plus for additional details, you can easily visit the Thermal Take site anytime and check the remaining all of the details easily. Now let's see how to set up this AIU cooler guys.
So guys over here as you can see that we have downloaded the Thermaltake RGB plus software from the site of the Thermaltake. You can also download from over there easily. After opening the software you will see the first tab is of the connect and into the connect you will see the two tabs of controller and the Thermaltake sync guys. And over here is the save reset of the profile uh, well as we are using the tough liquid AIO and the fans included in this AIO are the standard one not uh, ARGB guys if you will be using the ARGB fans the fan controller and the fan hub will be provided into the box of the thermal take as we are using the third party fan controller to operate the tough liquid fans guys that is why the controller tab is and the TT sync is not showing any uh, type of the controllers of the fan hub of thermal take guys moreover there is a small drawback of this software this software only detects the thermal take fan hub not any other third party fan hubs guys well after going into the my pc tab guys you will see all of the pc information into this tab and plus the fan speed as we are not using the thermal take fan hub that is why no information is getting displayed over here for the fans into the PC information you will get all the information related to your GPU, your CPU and the RAMs guys. A complete details are displayed over here. Well guys after going into the lighting tab of the software, the Tough Liquid Ultra is displayed into the tab of the software guys. As we are not using any other components of the thermal take, that is why the software is only displaying the Tough Liquid Ultra guys. As you know the main function of the AIO is the display screen guys. Uh, the first function I want to like to explain is the rotation function as you can rotate the display of the pump guys from over here you can easily control the rotation of the GIFs as well guys and click on the apply it will be applied on the software guys and also the pump. Well thermal take has pre-installed some of the animations into the software which you can select from over here and click on the ok and apply it will be applied directly on the screen of the pump. And also you can click on the more button and you can download from the side of the thermal take and upload on the pump screen which is also a really great function but guys if you want to upload your choice of the animations you can go into the upload tab and from upload you can click on the open and in open you can go on the, on the location where you have downloaded the gifs of your choice or from the internet guys and crop it over here click on the ok and apply it will be directly applied on the screen of the pump guys really great also guys you can control the speed of the animations from over here uh, from the speed tab and apply on the software it will be directly applied also guys uh, the text brightness and the screen brightness can be controlled from over here as well which is a uh, really great stuff well guys uh, if you are a type of a person who wants no display on the pump then you can click on the tab of the light and click on the apply then the light function will be turned off and there will be no display <laughs> well i am not a kind of a person guys that's why i'm clicking the to turn on the lights also guys uh, some of the other functions can be display on this screen as well uh, you just need to click on the uh, lcd display tab from over here and you can select all of the functions. you can also display the cpu temperature cpu frequency and cpu load or gpu temperature any of the functions can be uh, installed into the pump screen and click on the apply and then it will be applied on the software guys also you can customize uh, you can also do customization into these tabs as well if you need to change the background or the text color then you can easily uh, change from these tab as well guys going into the setting tab of the software guys from over here you can also change the settings into the journal and the sound effect and the temperature display unit as well uh, which is really great guys uh, thermal take has done a great stuff from uh, their uh, components guys Plus guys if you need to uh, update or any kind of the thing you can also do from over here and talking about the tough liquid ultra guys as we have installed the AIO from over here you can also change or set the boot animation and the standby screen guys as when your uh, computer turn on uh, the pump screen will be on the display animation or the standby screen guys you can easily change from over here which is uh, really great guys uh, well this was the thermal take software uh, RGB DT plus guys
Now talking about the price and the warranty of this Thermaltake Tough Liquid AIO cooler guys. Uh, Thermaltake has provided you a warranty of 2 years for their all of the AIO products which is really great. And talking about the price guys, Thermaltake is selling this AIO into the market with the price of 210 USD dollars guys. Uh, I think the price is a bit high but if you want a premium performance and a premium product you will have to pay the price as well. So guys this was Thermal Tech Tough Liquid Ultra AIO Cooler. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you have anything to ask you can mention into the comments. We will answer you there and I will see you into the next one now.